Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Abhijit and you're watching Coding for All Benetton School and in this video we are going to see is Django really dead and I'm going to answer it with very few like uh, you can say points and you will be easily to understand when you, whether you should learn Django or not. So before starting the video I have a very important information and uh, if you want to become a full stack developer with the minimum CTC of 5 lakh LPA and within a six month of time then newton school is just for you so what's newton school newton school is an e-learning platform where you can become a full stack developer with a job guaranteed of minimum five lakh ctc yes you have heard light right and you can get a job of minimum five lakh lpa and above five lakh lpa your salary can range up to like 40 lakh 50 lakh 30 lakh and whatever you can go so why you should join newton school so newton school as i already told you given Newton school because they have a very pre top-notch placement opportunities you can see a lot of companies from newton school recruit directly like google thoughtworks zomato and all these companies which you are seeing right now on the screen all are product based companies and if you want to work if you will work in these companies the your pay scale is going to be very high and uh, other points why you should join Newton School is like they provide live classes, industry projects, and mock interviews and personal mentoring. And uh, they have already like like one more very important point from Newton School is that you don't have to pay any amount until you get a job of minimum five lakh CTP CTC. That means you have to pay money when you get a job. Okay, so that's very cool. So let's again back to the video. So let me beg my presentation is django dead so first of all like uh, like a lot of node.js or uh, sorry a lot of javascript frameworks are coming into the ecosystem like node.js and express and a lot of people are thinking that uh, node.js is going to replace django and other frameworks that's not true because i know like a lot of javascript framework have come into the picture and node.js is one of the top like frameworks whether whether you are building some application and it has a very great community because it's widely used in a front-end development and we can use that like same programming language and same knowledge to build the backend system as well so that's the that's the main thing why node.js is very popular and also it is very powerful node.js is also a very powerful thing but django is also a very powerful thing when you should like when you like, let me give you some points when you should learn django okay so why you should learn use django so first all these are the points like scalability is one of the top notch thing which django provides so if you are if you are looking to create some some very large and heavy heavily used system uh, that can easily scale up that is one of the most demanding thing if you are building some backend cool backend application that scalability is an issue so django solve this scalability issue in a very very easy way and django application can scale up very widely because it was pre, pre when django was starting instagram was built on django and a lot of people use instagram and the next point is security security is very high in django as you know like django uh, uses a lot of security methods to get the data from the post request and other things like there are no a lot of security you can you can you cannot breach a django application so easily okay added battery that means you have you get a lot of things from the django frameworks like uh, you can say you get an admin panel you get a user authentication system and a lot of other things which uh, a lot of frameworks not provide like if you will create some application in express you need to write each and everything from the scratch all you need to write the authentication system from scratch you need you, you don't get any admin panel and a lot of features which django provided node.js and express don't provide all this you need all these you, you need to write from the scratch asynchronous programming which is very important like a lot of like a lot of application are started have started using web sockets and uh, yes you have heard right right that uh, django is providing asynchronous programming out of the box in the django 4 
and uh, Django is SEO, SEO optimized. This is very important. Like if you are creating an application and Google wants to index your entire application, it can easily index because it uh, you, you can easily maintain all the URL patterns. So that's the reason why it is SEO optimized and larger community support. That means if you if you encounter any error uh, while creating your application. A lot of people might have already gone through that error and a lot of people have also like solved those issues so you are not gonna stuck somewhere and uh, with no helping hands okay so versatile use cases that means you can use this particular framework in any of the frame uh, any of the project upcoming project like if you have a, if you are building some like lms system if you are building some crm if you are building an e-commerce application if you are building an, a food delivery application or any SaaS product or any pass product SaaS means software as a service and uh, pass means product as a service if you have creating any of the uh, like application Django is gonna fit on on those applications okay so now this comes to why you should not use Django so like uh, there are, are a lot of like I don't think Jan you should not use Django but there are some but like when your project is extremely huge that means if you are going to like um, distribute your uh, application or you can say backend so system in your in a lot of microservice architecture then django is not the best case because for like microservice architecture you need to go with like uh, spring and uh, if you have a very basic app like it's a very very basic app then you should do, shouldn't go with the django you can use a lot of frameworks like other like free flask which is one of the micro frameworks you can use and if you want to build something very from scratch if you don't want any any batteries included if you want to go fully customized then you shouldn't use django and one more silly reason can be if you are the developer and if you are the teammate is don't know django this is this can be one of the reasons and uh, and now we are and going to the end of the video is django framework that no this is not wrong django is going to stay there for a lot of years and uh, you people can work with django and get a easy get you can get job very easily so this is it for the video if you have liked the video please do subscribe the channel meet in the next video goodbye thank you